Athenia Mason Supply is New Jersey's number one source for masonry supplies. We're the wholesale one-stop location with a comprehensive selection of cultured stones, bricks, blocks, concrete, cement, sand, and the accessories that make it all come together. Whether you're a masonry contractor or doing the work yourself, skip the big box stores and go right to the specialist at Athenia Mason Supply. We have everything you need to enhance the appearance of your home while providing lasting beauty and value. Stone or concrete pavers can define an exterior space while offering an old world elegance. A fireplace or brick barbecue can be the central focus of a living room or outdoor living space. Inside or out, nothing adds timeless beauty to a home than the look of cultured stone or brick veneer. Athenia Mason Supply is where your improvement plans should start. Visit our website for ideas or just stop by. Deliveries are available to all of New York and New Jersey, including the islands. You know, you look better every season. Of course I do. You grew the beard back. Got it back. Got the fuzz back. A little fuzz. Lost a little up top, but that's okay. And of course, the quaff of Joey B, as usual. Sounds. Magnificent. That's wind, right. Wind tunnel tested hairdo. You better believe it. And welcome. Yeah, I could have tested that out on the first one. <laughs> yeah, really. Like that, but Hurricane yeah. winds. Yeah. But we're here week one. Uh, delayed a week, but... Uh, Kind of exciting week one. Uh, a right, lot right. of the old faces are back. Got some new guys back. Yeah, got, got some, some new guys in. back. But uh, we have 32 teams this season right. instead of the usual spring right. fling of 48 to 50. Mm. And uh, there's been a little chatter uh, amongst the teams and the players about this. And I want to reassure you guys out there that no teams have jumped from the ACFL no. to another league. No, why would they? You've had teams disband because coaches don't want to coach yeah. anymore. Commitment issues, things like You've that. You've got guys that are taking a season off. I mean, look, the same guys that were in this league 10 years ago when I first started <laughs> which are still there. When they were the young pups. Right, and they're, and they're aging. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot more than we are. Yeah, and they're, maybe they're still Because they're on the field every week. And there was one, um, there was one thing where someone suggested that the reason that is is because there's no a monetary a monetary prize at right. the end of the season. Now you've done enough games, I've repped enough games where when there's nothing at stake, these teams are looking to kill each other. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's could you imagine? League, could you man, imagine if if there was money involved? It would be nuts. So uh, you know, JT does a great job running this league. He does, and he can't make teams no. enroll, enlist, yeah. or, or whatever. Can't do it. Yeah. So he has to play the cards that he's dealt. That's right. Uh, I have a feeling that next fall will be big. The fall so. is usually, the spring was the key season. Right. But the fall does pretty well. And I got a oh, feeling teams that, that took a, a season off, We'll come back. Yeah. HOB is back. We're going to talk about them in Bruins a minute. Bruins are back. Bruins are back. So some teams, yeah, like you said, some teams just like that. They need that time off. Yeah, and they and a lot of players it. now have integrated amongst other teams, mm -hmm. which uh, nice little uh, new landscape we got it, going it, on. It really is. Yeah. And let's get right into it. Let's start with the landscape before we get into last week's. All right. Uh, the flag A, uh, or nine on nine, let's call that nine on nine. Nine on nine, we'll call you know, it uh, flag nine. I understand yeah. there's only five teams in the division. One team dropped out at the very beginning of the season. Right. But you know what I find about the nine on nine? Huh? There are no cupcakes. No. Every week you're going to have a game. Yeah. I, yeah, this is, these five teams, these are the upper I, echelon you five You know, teams. these are five teams, any one of these five. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if any of them win it. Win yeah, and you know, if you think about it, I, I mean, we don't have it in front of us now, and I'm sorry we don't. Right. But of the five teams that are in the division, right. 9 on 9, the only one not to have won a flag A chip are the All-Stars. Yeah. That's crazy. HOB's won one. Canes have won a, a couple. Shakers won one. 
Did they win? Did Shake? Oh, I know they, oh, they won back to back. I, know, I, they back-to-back. I, I know they won at least one. Yeah. So I mean, you're looking, and all these teams have won a chip. How crazy is that? That the All Stars are the only ones in that division that have. Won. And, and let's let's get to that. Let's get to that All Star game because okay. that marked the return of Hob. Yes, it did. Now, what did we say about Hob all the seasons that were there? They only could get quarterback play. Their Watch defense out. and the rest of their team is very dangerous. Well, Pete Filardi. They got a quarterback. Uh, this guy makes he jumps all over the place. Pete, hey. you're everywhere. You like horseshit, Pete. You're everywhere. <laughs> but he is now the quarterback of the H O B, and they took care of the All Stars nine nothing. The All Star defense, very good. Very good. They're very Always underrated. one of the top two. And that no one ever talks about their defense because of Titano. Right. But they found a way to shut down the cerebral assassin on yeah, they Sunday did. Nine, nothing. and win the game nine nothing. That must have been a nice brutal game. You know, HOB's back, ready to say, "Here we are. We're back. We're we're ready to take back this league." We got the All Stars in the chip two years in a row. Granted, they didn't win, but still, you still got two a team that's back back to back in the chips. They took them down nine nothing. And I tell you what, and I think Velarde's perfect quarterback for this team because nothing yes. gets this guy nervous. Yes, he keeps a really. Um, I don't want to say it, level level tone yep. during the course yes, of the game. Does, yeah. Doesn't get high, doesn't get low, and you know if he wins, great. If he loses, well, we'll get him next week. Yeah, which is perfect for this team because they needed a settling influence. Yeah, and Pete is definitely it, man. He's been in this league long enough. One one enough in all leagues, not yeah. just here. You know, he's won around. Yep. So great pickup by Hob. Great pickup. That could be. You know, that the could be the difference. Threat. Exactly, this could, be, this could be that one that puts them over because they've struggled the last few years, like we've talked about, mm-hmm. because of the quarterback. A lot of in and out, but now they got a guy. Pilardi, that, Pilardi's a rock, man. Yeah, and he's he, a rock. You could plug him into any team, I think, and he's going to fit that system and he's going to make that team better. And this is good start for Hob already. It really is. And then let's now let's move on to the Canes game. Uh, the Canes played the return of the Shakers. Return of the Shakers. And the big deal was that. The quarterback was coming back. The goose, the return of the goose. Guess Surprise. who? Guess who wasn't there? The goose. the goose. He was stuck somewhere else. And the Shakers, yeah. being the Shakers, had only eight guys. And if you're going to play a fully manned Canes team with eight guys, nine on nine, on a hundred yard field, it ain't going to be easy. No. And you're not uh, doing that. No. And the Canes handed handled the Shakers quite easily, 27 to right. six. But again, what do the Shakers always say? The regular season is our tune-up games yeah. for the playoffs, and uh, you know they're going to get. And the guys that were there are all good players. Oh, I yeah. mean, you know, uh, Hollywood, Hollywood actually quarterbacked this team. Someday. Now they have Hollywood on there, so that again they have a veteran quarterback from the, that knows what he's doing. Shakers are a good team, man, and like and just like you said, they don't care about where they finished. Oh no! Like when they won their chip, I think they were like the fifth or sixth. Seed. They were somewhere near they the bottom. Yeah. We weren't even talking about them. They weren't on anybody's radar. Even the the next year when they went to it, same kind of thing. Like. No way are the Shakers going to be. Oh, what? The Shakers are in it again? So, watch out for the Shakers. Goose is a good, you know, good coach. He, he knows how to run this team. It's good to see him back. It, re- it him really back. is. That's it strong. really is. So, I remember in that his last game, he got he got hit pretty hard. And the head looked like something, you know, just wasn't right. And he left. And, you know, I've talked to some of the guys that are on the teams and know him. And they said he's done. He's That was it. That was his last hurrah. Yeah. There he is again. No, hurrah, hurrah. He's not. Yeah. And uh, let's uh, let's switch over uh, to the B as soon as we get back from our first set of commercials, and uh, welcome again back some of our uh, old sponsors that yes. have re-upped with us again. Hooray. And uh, we got a couple of new ones that you're going to see uh, hopefully uh, on next week's show. Hopefully. And now there is some competition with Sal's. Oh. Yes, a new hair cutter which will debut as one of our sponsors next week. So I'm, I'm torn here, Mike. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I'll start going to the well, I was going to say, why don't we do that? There or I'll let one guy cut half and the other guy cut the other half. Anyway, let's cut away to uh, our old sponsors and welcome back. And we'll be right back. here to talk to you guys about a little golf. Now, listen, the Meadows Golf Course in Lincoln Park, New Jersey, right off exit 52 of Route 80. 18 magnificent holes of golf, very reasonable guys, under $30 during the week with a cart. 
And included in that is you get to look at all the pretty cart girls that are out there serving drinks and food to you while you're on the golf. You don't care what your score is because you're having so much fun. Remember, that's the Meadows Golf Course. Go in and mention that you saw this ad to Dennis, the manager, and Dennis will do something special for you, but he treats everybody special anyway. Remember, that's the Meadows Golf Club, Lincoln Park, New Jersey. 18 holes of great golf, great day. Hit him straight. Are you in need of a new haircut? Tired of the same barbershop? Come to Sal's Barber Exclusive for our family experience. We have 45 years of business experience in haircutting. We offer the basic hair trimmings as well as stylings. No reservations, walk-ins only. Come on in and see Denise, Monica, and Sal. The number's 201-327-7037. Six Church Street in Ramsey on the corner of Main and Church. Our hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8.30 to 6. Thursdays, 8.30 to 7.30. And Saturdays, 8 to 5. Closed on Mondays and Sundays. Come to Sal, Barber Exclusive. Okay, we're back. Oh, oh. And, and now uh, let's flip over to, I still hate calling it B-flex. Yeah, yeah. I think what we're going to do is nine on nine, eight on eight. There we go. And, yeah. and on the eight on eight, again, uh, there is a one ten team division. Yeah. Which now really, if you think about it, Mike, the other division you had six teams maybe in each division. Right. Now every game, every week is yes. really needed you gotta win yeah now this really plays into seating this is it really it. now it really is a matter of seating now it really comes down to it which is good a little more competition not that this league needs it but hey well, you, you know what you know. at the 32 teams that are in this league right you got a lot of teams that can win yeah you do a lot a lot of teams more than half the teams in this league can win a chip yeah Easily. Very you, easily. Yeah, I want to talk about combining all the 32. More right. than half of them, I think, are capable oh, yeah. of winning a chip in whatever division they are. Definitely. And let's start with the Hawkeyes and the Wolfgang. Now, you made a good point last season at the end of the year. You were saying that the Wolfgang would be a team to watch in the future. They had a lot of young players. A lot of young people. And their quarterback was He's learning. He was coming along. He and he looked good along. in that game also. Yeah, he did. And uh, the Hawkeyes, who now Gerard has retired. Wow. I mean, if you can believe that. I was talking to uh, we'll a couple of members of the Hawkeyes, and they really don't think he's legitimate. He How many people really retire from this league? He, he, you know he, what I'm he saying? He wanted to get up at 8.30, <laughs> so he said he retired. So he'll just have to join the goons and do the 10.30. I guess so. I guess oh. so. But the Hawkeyes had enough of the old familiar faces there. Yeah. They had Tony, a quarterback, Josh out there, uh, Willie. Yep, everybody. And the boys. The, but the, uh, the Wolfgang gave them all they wanted. They took, yeah, they took it to them. And, and this is always, and we talk about it every season, Hawkeyes are one of the top teams in the eight on eight uh, division. And they hung with them. Watch out for this Wolfgang. Whoever has to play these, these They're gonna guys, win some games this year. They're gonna win some these games. Guys each week, watch out for them. Because again, young team, quarterbacks learning, and they're hungry to do this. Yeah, they are. You know, I heard them their last game last season and they were fired up and couldn't wait for last Sunday to come. Because they just wanted to get back on the field and prove that, that hey, we're here. We're a new team. Well, not a new team, but you know what? We're the new Upcoming team and watch out for us because and, and they and got it. What? what they I think they're well, no, and they got they got one of the best players. I think Omar is a phenomenal mm. player. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I think he's really good. He catches everything he can get his hands yeah. on. And that's and, uh, that's their leadership right there. Yeah, they're gonna follow him. Yeah, and here we go. Here we go. And watch I out. think it's gonna watch be out. interesting. Eight on eight. Bulldogs Bankers, an old rival we An old rival, another good game. But again, I really think the Bankers gave this game away. Well, but. You know who's back in town, right, for the Bulldogs? Who you got? Oscar uh, Quinones, yes, the big is. O. He got tired of living in Miami watching all those babes in bikinis. Uh, and he wanted to come home. And he actually quarterbacked this game. It looked good. I was refereeing on the opposite field. I got to watch some of it. Okay. And, um, you know, Oscar, he doesn't get enough credit for his ability to throw the ball. No. 
No. He doesn't. And he threw a deep ball for a touchdown uh, on Sunday. That was an impressive throw. Yes. Uh, he hit the guy in stride, and uh, you saw the game film. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, those games are up now, by the way, right? They sure are. Thanks, yeah, you Tom. can watch him. Ta- Tommy, right on the ball as usual. And you're going to be seeing a lot more Tommy at the yeah, field this season. More, he got Tom. a little bit of a promotion. Yeah. Uh, promotion and a cut and pay. What a combination that yeah, is. Hey, hey. Anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, so now the question is, and I was talking to Alan on the sideline, and by the way, Alan is going to be a guest on our show in the next couple of weeks. Excellent. He wants to come down and, and chat a little bit, and this is going to be a, a, something that we're going to do, because we talk about what we think of the league. Yeah. Let's get some players in here I to say what to, they man. think. We have been inviting these guys. Yeah, but now I'm going to bring them down by the hair, well, except for Alan, I can't drag him by the hair. Yeah. I have to drag him by his yeah, collar. We've been, we've been wanting you guys to come down, and again, don't forget about hitting us up on the email at uh, acflfilms at gmail, so we know what's going on at some of these games that we're not able to cover, and then we can also pass that on to the rest of the league throughout. If you have anything you want to air, this way you can get it, I get communicated it right with Tebow. We're going to get Tebow one early oh, this season, so Tebow. maybe he'll make a couple M-I-A of appearances. last year. Yeah, That's well. all right. We'll get him back. We'll I guess when his picks went south, he did too. Yes, he did. But anyway, the Bulldogs beat the Bankers by two extra points. Uh, the Banker quarterback um, still looking good. Yeah. Mike, Bankers look good, but I don't know. There's something at the end of the game. It seems that they're just giving away the games. I said that in their loss to the Bears last year in the playoffs, that they should have won that game, and they should have won this game. Bulldogs tried to give it away. Dropped a late interception there in the fourth quarter. Um, that, That whole series under two minutes for the Bulldogs they were just basically, they should have just said, hey, we want you to win. Yeah. But the bankers just couldn't take advantage of it. They got to get over that hump. There's just something, I don't know if it's mental mistakes or whatever they're making, there's something they just need to get over that hump. They're giving away these games. The, they could be one of these top teams. See, the bankers are one of these teams that they may have good players they have and they really may have good, good athletes. Right. They haven't learned how to win it. Exactly. Closing two minutes yet. Exactly. I mean, if you look at the, at the games of the Bengals for the last couple of seasons, you'll see. I don't think they've won a Three game points, in the last two points. minutes. Yeah. I don't think they've won a game in the last two minutes. <laughs> Get the ball on a final drive, go down, score, put the game. I haven't yeah. seen them do it. Or like I said, there's an opportunity for a turnover, pick off, pick at the end of the game to, and they drop it. I like this team, but you, they got to learn how to win in the fourth quarter, or they got to just blow it out in the first half so that the other team can't come back. Good team, good quarterback, good receivers, good defense, Gotta learn. good athletes. Got to learn. So, yeah, they, that's it. That's all they're missing. Man. And the quarterback, the quarterback had one of the hottest girlfriends I've ever seen, and now they broke up. Hey. So I gave him my sympathies and then asked him for her address. Oh. Which he didn't give me. Hey. Moving on, the Warriors are back in town with a 21-14 Warriors win over the NWO and These Big Shono. Shono, I'll tell you what, man. I, the guy is the new Silent Sam of the ACFL. This That's guy, good. he doesn't right. even talk to himself anymore. Yeah. But, That's uh, all right. Yeah, I thought the Warriors were going to be done this year. I, you know, I heard some some talks that, you know, it, just, it was too much last season. We're, you know, we're kind of going to pack it in. I was very surprised to see that they're back. And I'm uh, uh, happily surprised. Yeah. We need the Warriors around. I don't know what the NWO roster looks like. I guess when we capture them on film, we'll be able to see yeah. If they have some of the old standbys, deja vu. Who are you? Yeah, who are um, you guys? They beat the Goons 19-6. Now, I don't know who's on the Goons roster yet because the rosters are not needed to be submitted right. until week four. Right. But I think so, this is old Goons, not Spartan mixed Goons. Still a great team. Man. Goons Goons can run it up and down on the, on the field with you. I mean, they, this is a this No, is this, this is a team that won a championship. Yes. They won a chip. So I'm wondering who these deja vu, if this is... You know, again, first week. Who this knows? is why we need you guys to hook, hit us up on the on the email. I got to know who you guys are. Are you an old team? Are you a new team? What's going on? We'd like to know who you are so we can talk about you a little more. And if it's springtime, the Kodiaks must be playing. You better believe it. Because they they're are. up they're up in their little haven up there and wherever the hell it is, Lake the Pot Con. They're actually making But I'll tell you what, I, no, I, I, did, I did a game in that field. That's a very good field. It's, it's a very good nice if field if it. you can find it. But, you got uh, a day to drive there. Well, yeah, <laughs> usually there's two games at that field this week, so yeah. it should be interesting. Well, they're making the, they're making the trip uh, all the way out to Slopesburg this week. And, uh, and they, they defeated the Junior Mafia. Maybe the Junior Mafia should have sent the seniors up there. Maybe. Because they got uh, waxed 22-7. to 7. Again, Oof. Junior Mafia, who are these guys? Yeah, but again, Kodiaks, you know, you know that, that's a tough, if we don't, you know, if this is a new team, that's a tough bar to start with. You know what I mean? Yes, it Kodiaks. is. Again, Kodiaks usually top. 
three, four in the league, you know what I mean, in, mm-hmm. in the eight on eight. So that's a tough measuring stick right there that they got. But hey, hey you got to come and play. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. And now, uh, and that does it for Flag B. We'll take a look at next week's schedule in right. a couple of minutes. But let's uh, slide down to uh, the six on six now, which All has right. become extremely, extremely popular. I and love the six on six. Uh, we look at uh, the All Stars once again. Uh, Coming out, putting up 28 points, and defeating a stubborn, a stubborn team team uh, by four points. Yeah, who's now left the eight on eight, come down to six on six. Yeah. Now, probably some guy not can't get enough commitment, but hey, they made it work. They're now in six on six, and they hey, they took it to the All Stars. And I'll tell you what, in their first game again, first game in the league that they're not used to. Big measuring stick. They hung right there. Yes, they did. Yes, they Put did. Put up 24 points on that. Vaunted All-Stars defense that we like to talk about. So, hey, man. Well, the All-Stars, uh, team, team. again, they, they had another streak broken in a championship game last season by the yeah. Bruins. The last yeah. time. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Team teams are good. A lot of athletes. I like their quarterback. Good mm-hmm. defense. We'll see which guys are still on for the six-on-six. Six. They can make some noise in this league. They can make some noise in the six-on-six. Uh, six. Again, the six-on-on-six six has a lot of good teams. And your boys, the Lightning. Wow. Uh, welcome the Barn Bruins burner. back. Yeah, they welcome did. the Bruins back to six on six after their hiatus. Yeah. With a 47 41. And I'm going to tell you something. Track me game. I, I was at the six on six tournament and the Lightning looked terrible. Really? They were awful. They did not win a game in a tournament. Um, the thing they just didn't look like the same team. And then, boom, week one, and the lights come on. There they are. And here they are. One 47, thing about this 41. Team, I'm not sure about if the Lightning can. Well, I've, from what I've seen, they definitely can't win from behind. This is a team, if they jump out on you, they're going to make you catch them. Yeah, and but they don't it, change, Mike. They don't change. It's hard to catch them. But Whether like, they're ahead or behind, their, their game doesn't change. They throw right. the ball downfield and they'll come and get it. But they, you know, they need to, for, I'm saying as far as that comeback win they need to get to, to be able to come back, they can't. Because it, it really relies on one or two players that that's who they're passing to. If you can shut them down, you got them. So if they jump out on you, you might as well just pack it up. But if you can get ahead of them or keep it close, even keep it a score going into, you know, second half going into two minutes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the Lightning, they got to they gotta work on that. When we, and we've said this a lot. They got to work on their defense. They got to be able to hold, hold people in a game. Mike, I'm convinced that six on six is like arena football. It is. Yeah, it is. There, there is no, you know what? It's not a matter of playing defense. It's a matter of who's going to score more. Yes. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah. a matter of a shootout. It's like a shootout every game. Extra points mean so much in this division. Yeah. You know, I mean, look, the difference is, was uh, six points, one touchdown. So, I mean, you know, yeah. you say you score 41, you have a good chance of winning. You score 47, you have a better chance of winning. Exactly. And that's all it is. Sam's Taxi Blazers. Now, this is one of the games I did. Yeah. And the Hawks moved up to the six on six. Hawks and I'm going to tell you, yeah. I'm going to tell you, with one minute left in the first half, Sam's Taxi Blazers were up 25-19. Yep. Okay. And just receiving the ball with less than a minute left. Receive the kickoff, one play, touchdown. Yep. They kick off to the Blazers. Uh, excuse me. They kick off to the Hawks. First play, intercepted, run back, touchdown. Yeah. 14 points in less than a minute to close the first half. And you know Robbie is not going to take his foot off the, off no, the gas once no, they, they get they, moving. They don't. And again, they coasted right. hey, it man. in. The Hawks are out there to play, too. They need but to But you stop. know what, though? I'll tell you what. The Hawk quarterback, they never they never sacked him. They couldn't catch him. Right. Once he turned the corner, he was long gone. Yeah. Hawks are going to win some games in this league. They are. Uh, if they learn how to... You know, this six on six is a certain way you got to play it. Yeah. You know, you can't play it with a touch mentality because nope. you got to pull a flag, not just touch right. a guy. And uh, once and they, they learn, really eight on, or eight on eight either. You got to. I mean, you got to watch that that lineman leaking out. And some of these teams use that perfectly. Oh, Bruins absolutely. All stars use it great. Oh, oh, what am I mentioning the teams that have just won that? Yeah, oh, uh, Robbie Lane has made yeah. a lifetime. He's got a 25 year career coming out of the yeah. backfield and catching passes. Yeah. But uh, again, the Blazers, Taxi Blazers, is going to be tough. Bears, return of Jim. Here we go. Jim is not a quarterback, however, he is being used as an all purpose all right. guy. Which he loves it. And oh, I bet. He gets to just roam around and do what he wants. And, and they, it looks like they did what they oh, wanted. Oh, they did what they wanted. Now, the code red 
is actually uh, the nucleus of the Code Red is the old Nexus team. Okay. With a few new added players, and um, they got waxed. They yeah. got waxed. They got a lot to learn. Yeah. Um, you know, blending in the new guys that really didn't know too much about this game. It's week and one. It's still week one, so they got time. But, but you improve. Yeah, you improve but seven weeks. Uh, but that that was a, a beatdown. Yeah. That was a beatdown. Cobras in the storm. Cobras uh, being the Cobras. Yeah. Storm, another new team, or is this a merger team? I again, we don't email. know. We don't know. We don't get rosters till after week four. Right. And uh, the, the return of the new breed. The, we know who's on the new breed. New and, breed and your favorite team. Game. Yeah. The nice snatch. Nice uh, snatch. And they actually, it looked like it was a game for a little while. A little bit. Basically, a two touchdown game, and uh, the nice snatch. But they oh, just go out to have fun. Right. You know, and that's, and oh, that's yeah. really a great attitude uh, in terms of uh, in terms of going out week to week. So when we come back, we'll do the touch division. And then we have some exciting news, exciting league news yeah. that uh, I think is going to pique the interest of a lot of people out there. I think there, so. Especially in the summertime when it's 95 degrees outside. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be right yeah. back. As restaurants come and go, it is rare to find an establishment like Steve's Sizzling Steaks. Steve's has focused on excellent food, comfortable ambiance, and a friendly staff. Times sure have changed since Steve's first opened their doors, but what hasn't changed is the family atmosphere that makes Steve's so special. Open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Located at 620 Route 17 South in Carlstad, New Jersey, or call 201-438-9677 for your reservation. Hey, okay, so uh, as promised, we're going to go through the touch real quick, uh, look at next week's schedule, or this week's schedule. This right? week's schedule. And um, go from there. Uh, okay, so the Bucks, uh, 32, Legion of Doom. All right. 12, uh, Bucks really not having too hard a time. Not too hard a time there with the old, I guess, well, like I said, I figure that's, Legion of Doom was the old Justice League. I'm just taking Might a be. stab in the Might dark be. there. Here's, here's a name that, that should light up your life, Mike. You like this team a lot, the Militia. I do. Militia, there we go. Which are, who are the bankers, basically. Oh, yeah, and, and they're, they jumped out quick on the Wolfpack. 33-6 right? 33, 33, 33, six. Six against right. the Wolfpack. The 18, uh, again, a, a, another team that um, is one of your perennial yeah. favorites with the, the Eli Manning wannabe That's quarterback. Right. These guys always come on late. Is, you know, And they won week one, so they're, they're out of there their we realm go. already. There we go. They're trying something new. Let's win a game early. Yeah. And uh, let's see. So the touch on touch again, you know, you've got basically the Bucks will be there, the militia will be there, uh, the A team, old school. We got this old school. Who really just uh, kind of handled the replacements without a problem. And again, yeah. we got to go back and see. Well, okay. But there's another group of guys that just like to come out and have Love fun. Love those guys. You know? Um, that's right. You were on their bandwagon. For I got a, while a couple too. out of them last year. How do your ankles feel? Are they sore from jumping on and off these bandwagons, or what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I just know when to sell high, you know, buy high, sell low. Whatever. Sell low. Yeah, that's it. Well, and no, sell high. But you don't. You I mean, better sell high. Yeah, that's buy right. low. That's right. Um, so again, you know, the touch division. We we really we try to talk about it as much as we can, but. It's still you hot. know, it's still a couple teams. We I think this year my pick is the Bucks. I yeah, think the I Bucks. Like, are, I like the touch division. You know, it, it is very competitive. Everyone is like, haha, touch. But I think it's a very competitive, very physical for touch. I, I say this all the time. I think these guys play a very physical brand of touch football. You know, I mean, rough touch. Yeah, it is a rough touch game. And yeah, I see you, you like the Bucks. We'll see how it all plays out. Yeah, that, they're my early season pick. Okay. So let's take a look at next week's this week's schedule and just. Go down real quick, and Hackensack, uh, Turf, Canes, All-Stars, I'm going with the Canes. I, I think the Canes uh, got off to a real good start. Um, they're actually looking younger. Really? They're looking younger, That's yeah. Awesome. I saw them running around the field. Uh, that, well, it's week one. Well, That's why okay. they're running around. Well, I, maybe their, their legs will carry them into week two. Yeah, you never know. Hey, you got to remember, Canes have not lost a game since 
halfway through the season of last spring, right? They were 0-4, and since then, since the middle of last spring, haven't lost. Two chips, no losses. So that's a great game. That's a that's a pick 'em game. I mean, you're taking wow. The games, you talk like that about the Canes, the Canes, and then you call it a pick 'em game. I'm just saying, but because I haven't gotten into the All Stars, you can take the Canes. I'll take the All Stars. Okay, you know, very this good. This is just. I mean, how can you go wrong with either one of those teams? These are the two teams that have been on top of this division for the last year. Listen, year and a half, there's a rumor years. going around that they, somebody's looking to form an Earl Biddy fan club. Who, you? Not me. No. Not me. Not me. But uh, <laughs> that's the rumor. Bankers and goons. If the goons play like they played last week, I think the bankers will be all over them. Yeah, let's, you know, let's see if the bankers can get back up on this. You know? And that's the site of the goons them. championship uh, yeah. at Agnesac Turf. There we go. So they like that field. Diabolos and the Shakers. Shakers. Wow. Classic. Classic nine-on-nine -nine game Diablos right had a bye in week one, so this is their first game there of the year. Go. We'll um, see if the Goose makes it out for this game. We'll see if the Shakers have more than eight guys. That would be nice. And that's a game. Yeah, it that's is. That's a game if they have eight guys. Uh, it sure is. Of course, we have the Pomo factor involved now, but they're a lot more than just Pomo now. Yeah, they are. And I'm interested to see who their quarterback is. Mm, yeah. No Pete. No Pete. No Pete. Well, they had Laguna last year in the fall. And who played very well. He played very well. Of course he played, he played very well. well. I mean, he's a good player. Good yeah. player. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Hackensack, grass, bucks, and wolves. Bucks I'm going with wolves. the bucks. All right, yeah, bucks. And then uh, the All-Stars jump over to the grass field against light them up. I'm going with the All-Stars go there. The you can't pick against the All-Stars in six on six. It's a rule. It's, yeah. a, it's a scientific fact. <laughs> and then you got the Wolf Pack and the replacements, and, and I'm going with the replacements in this game. I, I'm gonna go with the, I'm like, I'll jump on the replacements too, man. Come there you on go. Hey, who is, yeah, this is gonna be. Uh, guys, I think this is the first time you've been picked by both of us since you've been in the league. Don't let us down. So here's your opportunity to, to make us look good. That's right. Uh, well, I look good all the time, Mike. Anyhow, um, Laurel Hill, Secaucus, Field 2. The only field that we have that has two Field 2s. Yeah. Hey. Hawkeyes and the Junior Mafia. Okay, oh, Hawkeyes, gosh. again, we don't know who the Junior yeah, Mafia is. Yeah, until we find is. out who they are. They got waxed pretty good last week, yeah, so uh, yes, we, I got to go with the yeah. Hawkeyes. Bulldogs, Wolfgang. Here's a good game. Interesting. Here's a good game. Very interesting. Who quarterbacks the Bulldogs? Mm. Okay. Ask, now, if you got your choice, let's... Let's have some fun here with uh, Alan. If you had your choice of Oscar or Randy, a quarterback, who's playing quarterback? I don't know. I'd stick with the hot hand, man. Stay with Oscar. He, he did it last week. Why mess it up? Why change that formula now after a win? I would just stick with him. If it doesn't work in the first half, make the change. Go with the hot hand that, that, that got you the win last Now, I feel the same way, but I think it's going to be Randy who starts. Okay. Hey. I think it's going to be Randy Are you going to really starts. go wrong either way? No, I mean, either so time, any time Oscar catches the ball, touches the ball, exactly. you got to be aware of what's going on. So, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going Wolfgang on that. You are. The, I'm going to go Bulldogs. I, I think that um, the speed of the okay. Bulldogs could be a factor in this game. All right. Uh, I got to see somebody stop Oscar. Until I see that. Very hard to pick against them. Yeah. And, and again, the the uh, Wolfgang, they're still learning. They're still learning. So they might, there. if they win, if they win this game, I would not be shocked. Okay. But if they don't win, it's just another lesson. Right. I and, think. Yeah. They win this game, that gives them, I think, that little notch of, hey, here we come. Here we, here's the momentum. You know, both these teams are coming off. Uh, right. No. Bulldogs did win last week. I'm sorry. So. You know, should be good. It should game. be good. And both teams, though, played in very close games. Yes. You know? Yeah. They could have gone either way. And both so these teams were filled last game. week, this so we're not filming bad. this game. Ugh. I hope I get assigned to this game. Yeah. I have to do this game. Uh, Laurel Hill, Laurel Hill, the other field, too. Goodwin. Really Bruins, good Bruins and Blazers to start it at 830 in the morning. Yeah, I believe we're going to That'll wake your Tom ass now. up, really. I think we got to send Tom to get this game. Uh, Bruins out. Bruins don't want to go down 0-2. No. This, so this is a big game for the Bruins. They're going to come out like it's a playoff game. And the Blazers, again, they are they jump on you, forget about it. They're putting the, the, the gas down. But the Bruins, I think, have the defense to calm the Blazers down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think the Bruins are they're, they're crafty enough and they're smart enough and they got a good enough defense and good enough players that I think they can – I don't see the Blazers putting up 47 against these guys. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what. This is going to be a chatty game. There's going to be a lot of talking in this game. So who's ever ref in this game, 
Man, you bring know, your ear bring your earplugs and good luck. Skin yeah, really. You're going to get it. Really. Yambis and the nice snatch. Uh, I'm going Yambis here. Okay. Uh, again, if nice snatch pops up and wins one, not going to be surprised. I don't right. know what the Yambis have this season. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to find kinda out. Took, took a step back last season. Um, we'll see. Maybe they come. Then maybe they bring it back. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Yambis. I'll go nice snatch. Just team team based on their performance against the All Stars. I got to yeah. make them the pick over a new team. The oh, Storm. Yeah. New team. Team team is new team. Team team is good players. We just we just talked about them. Great players. And and made some made some waves in the B division. Oh, sorry, the eight on eight division. Right. So them coming down, I think, you know, like I said, it's probably a personnel problem. They probably just couldn't get enough guys. Watch out for these teams. The rest of you six on sixers. Watch out for these guys. You, 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 you may have seen them. You may know a lot of these guys or played with some of them even on some of your teams. Watch out for team team and six on six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lancaster Field Militia A team. Not a good game. Good game. That's another good, good, good game. So, uh, you know what? I'm going A-team in this game over the Militia. I'll, yeah, I'm going to go the Militia. Because don't forget, now, the Militia have to play at Lancaster at 8.30 mm. and then get the Hackensack by 10.30. Right. Well, that's all right. Well, I'm looking at the Militia game. That's the first. All so, right. Yeah, Militia, good team. I like the Militia. And a real good one in the second game. Cobras mm -hmm. and the Bears. That was a big playoff game last week. season. This is a great, great this is, this, These are two good games here at Lancaster. Slotesburg, uh, Community Field. The Kodiaks are venturing down <laughs> to play the NWO. It's really not that bad a drive for them uh, no? from where they are from yeah, the late okay. pack on this. So, and the Warriors uh, against the Deja Vu, yeah. who Some we don't know this, who yeah. they are. Some are calling this game of the week for the for the eight on eight. This you know, the Warriors the, Deja Vu. Yeah, I saw it on the on the board. I mean, this could just be one lunatic's opinion, but you know, there's no shortage of lunatics in this league. I think I no shortage of sitting in front of this camera. Right Either now. right, yeah. Um, so we'll see. You know, maybe this this Deja Vu. I mean, they 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 played pretty well in their. Opening game, who they have? There we go. Yeah, they took down the Goons, 19-6. I mean, if you want to come into a league, again, we're not sure about if this is a brand-new team. If this is a new team and they just come in the league and they take down the Goons, that's a big name that you just took yeah, down on your first really shot. It really is, yeah. And then you're getting the Warriors right after that. Former chip, win, yeah, chip winner. Yeah, so Davies, this could be a really good game. Davies Field, I finally figured out who old school is. Okay. Old school are the Banana Slugs. I the thought that. Version. All right. But. So that's a JT's team against okay. the Legion of Doom. That's their home field. They don't lose on that field. No. Very rarely. Yeah. So I'm going old school there. So the Slugs are doing two seasons. It's named after Gary. There uh, you go. <laughs> uh, who owns the league. New Breed Hawks. New and here's my first upset special. I'm going Hawks here. Really? Yeah, I think they've got the speed to compete with the New Breed. Um... The new breed got to be favored in this game. Yeah, I like the new breed in this. I like their toughness. I like there's a you know it's that mishmash of, of guys of veterans that have been around. Hawks moving up now, still trying to figure out that six on six style. I know. Oh, it's just a, you just got to pull the flag. Pull this the is, this flag is a trap is spot. Hard, this man. is a trap spot for the new breed because they've okay. never seen the Hawks. Right. And they're um, I know they have uh, Francis the sack master Francis on their team. Oh, He's gonna okay. go crazy running after this quarterback for the Hawks. He's this guy master, is though. everywhere. Yeah. And uh, we're going to break away, and then when we come back, we have a, a real exciting announcement uh, that's going to turn on a, a lot of teams out yeah. there. So, uh, again, that's our final break, and we'll be right back. New York City is the largest market for broadcast media. It's the epicenter for the TV and radio industry. If you ever had a dream of working in the thrilling broadcast world, then make it a reality by going to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. CSB has helped numerous people get a job with hands-on training and a learn-by-doing mentality. You will learn all of the high-tech equipment in the TV and radio studios. From hosting your own radio show to being a news or sports anchor, operating a camera in the TV studio, or editing audio and video, the choice is yours. Graduates from CSB have gone on to work at some of the major companies in the industry. To get more information, call 1-800-TV-RADIO or check us out at GoCSB.com. 
Your road to success starts here at the Connecticut School of Broadcasting. Okay, so we promised you some exciting news, and here it is. The ACFL has reached an agreement with West Rock Indoor Facility for a summer six-on-six -six flag league with the ACFL. Nice. Um, now, there were three nights available, uh, according to JT, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. He's trying to zero in on what makes the most sense for two yeah. nights. Right. For two okay. nights. He said to me Wednesday and Friday, I kind of disagree with Friday because Friday nights start a weekend. Yeah. And, you know, uh, people will go away on Friday, Saturday, and then come back Sunday for their game. Yeah, that's true on a... So, I mean, so, you know, so I, I think true. Monday and Wednesday, but here's the thing about this. Let me give you some uh, points of interest. The games are only five minutes shorter mm. per half okay. than the standard right now. Okay. The field is the exact same size. Now we're going to show you, oh, we're going to show you some pictures of the facility. Right. It's it's air conditioned. Ooh. Yeah. So you get to run around and, and not sweat like a, a racehorse yeah. after it's over. <laughs> um, the ref fees are lowered by fifteen dollars. Oh. So you have reduced ref fees. You have reduced league fees. The league fee is actually, I believe, a hundred. Dollars less okay. uh, per team, maybe a little more. I don't know. Um, they we have the field for two nights for one hour. Nice, and um, that would accommodate nice. um, a maximum of eight teams. All right, and uh, I think he would be able to go with six teams. Yeah, also, but guys, when you when you see the facility. Um, there's a, the first, first teams come first served. It's really a great thing to do for guys that don't play softball and are looking for something to do, you know, well, yeah. Looking for something to do during the week for an hour. Right. You know, there it is. There it is, man. You, you know, right. you can do it. So contact JT. Um, he's really kind of opening this up to everybody or anybody put it on a message board and there are a lot of people that read our message board yeah, oh yeah. other than ACFL players right. so uh, this is something guys I'll tell you what when you see this facility uh, nice. it's the same size field you're not playing in a little band box no. uh, air conditioning, air conditioning uh, the refreshment stands oh. other things to do there yeah, you can bring the you kids know, I'm the sure pitch, yeah I mean you, you know, know if you if got. you have kids, and you want to take them to the batting cages after you finish playing your game or what, that's there. Uh, I would guess it'd probably be some reduction in uh, cost for some of the, I'm not sure about this, but uh, again, ask JT, uh, reduction in cost of some of the other things that your kids can participate in okay. when you're there. I mean, they got basketball courts, Boom. tennis courts, uh, batting cages, like yeah, you they said. Yeah, I mean, you know, they have all that stuff going on. We have, we have some of these upstate by me and uh, it's great. These things are great. You bring the kids there. You know, they have bouncy pits and it's like I said, soccer. There's always mm -hmm. there's always some sort of trainer there that can help you out. Pitching mounds, batting cages, all that good stuff. We'll so. be filming some games in there too, because we're gonna have a weeknight division now to go up and, and I tape some mind games. Sitting in the AC and doing that. That's uh, a great beat oh, those I'm going to AC. It beats those oh, June okay. June uh, early June days uh, okay. at ninety degrees at Hackensack Turf Field. Right, where you can fry eggs on the carpet. Yeah. But uh, again, guys, this is really, really exciting. Yeah. Uh, you're always asking the league to do new things and different things. Well, here's, there we something, here's something Keep new and different. Year round, right? So year listen, round. contact JT. Uh, I just gave you the the foundation information. Any specifics uh, that you want answered, he's the guy to answer them for you. And again, when you look at the facility on the video that Mike's gonna put up and give you a chance to see it, it's really magnificent. So MC. That's me. Another week. That's it. We'll see you in a couple days. This should be up um, pretty soon, our show, right? Yeah. Be looking for it. First one's always the easiest one to do. Yeah. There isn't no too much to, yeah. to talk no, about. No, go crazy. All right. So from Mike McSee, Joey B, we'll see you next week on This Week in the ACFL. Good night, everybody.
Here at Anthony Franco's, we take our food preparation very seriously. With the freshest ingredients delivered daily from the markets at Hunts Point and the finest pasta from one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses, we have a large variety of specialty pizzas, pastas, and sandwiches, along with a cozy dining area for your special events. With two great locations, 556 Route 17 North Paramus and 128 East Main Street Ramsey. Call 201-447-3999 in Paramus and 201-238-8000 in Ramsey. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, free delivery.